Hey troops, the Royal Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! So I've got a book review today. I haven't done one in a while. Um, you know that I am a major sucker for tech manuals and stuff. I mean, you know, the, the reviews for the Book of Ashanti. And thank you for all three thousand seven hundred of you that that like viewed this. Um, really should have should do a post actually for that because yeah, three thousand seven hundred. Granted, that's not like as much as some of the other big name guys, but for a little dork like me, thank you. But yeah, and of course, uh, previously, a while ago, I did a review of the Rebel Starfighter book from um, by the folks who do the Haynes manuals. <laughs> Both of these, if you recall, from, from my reviews. Hmm. I should do a tech manual or source book one. Huh. Specifically for that, not like I haven't done one already because I also did one for Trax and GR. Anyway, I'm babbling. I'm sorry. It's a Saturday, so my brain's being a dork and going everywhere. So today, doing a book review to get back on topic before I burn out the, the battery on my phone. It is the Batmobile Manual from Insight Editions, um, written by uh, Daniel Wallace and illustrated by Luca, uh, Lu, Lucas Li, uh, Lizette Lizko. I'm sorry. I should rehearse that more. Sorry. Uh, what have we got? Here it is. Minus the dust jacket. Um, it's pretty. Isn't it big? <laughs> um, you know, generically, uh, a lot of manuals often, I mean, even something like this one, you know, isn't this giant massive tome because, I mean, come on, these are imaginary things. It's not like, it, it's not like you can put in, you know, how much detail can you put in? But then again, when you've got almost a hundred years of history, you got a lot to yap about. So anyway, there we go. Um, now, most of these, you know, the, the, um, the, the premier, a lot of the more notable publishers or stuff like this, of course, the folks who do the Ames Manual, um, also um, DK Publishing does a lot of lot of these where you know you get the giant cutaways and stuff like that so these folks um they're new to me um so how this work out overall it is a very very solid manual um it has some quirks with it but um we'll go over it. anyway so here we go the good news i'm not kidding okay like i said i mean you know it's batman it's 100 years old we're going back to the 1940s forward all those movies, all those cartoons, you're going, all? Yeah, actually, all. Um, the book starts, uh, on the quirky thing, but we'll get into that later. Um, well, you know, if you're going to do a book about the Batmobiles, Batman stuff in general, of course, you're going to start with Nolan because, well, Chris, Nolan made a lot of money. Um, and, of course, you got the Tumblr, the legendary Tumblr, and it comes in black. Um now one of the really nice things about the this this uh these books is that there is a ton of text with lots of information about capabilities the design history stuff like that you know the kind of things that probably are in the head canon of the people who may or may it may or may not be the head canon of the designers but you know in general but you know there's a lot of fun stuff and information the other cool thing though is that you also get oh, come on Oh, darn it. I thought, I, had to, I thought this was going to be a better one for that. You also get a pretty decent amount of diagrams and cutaways. Um, this, unfortunately, is not a cutaway book by any means. But in a, here's an example of some of the diagrams you get. Like, this is for the Bath Pod uh, from, the Dark Knight, from the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises. Um, you know, you see a lot of cutaway, Especially this mechanism for the Bath Pod. Like... How the heck did you all... This is how. There you go. Um, now, how many vehicles did they do? Um, like I said, uh, movies and cartoons. Because, you know, you've got all the stuff from the Nolan stuff, from the Nolan films. Like, also, the bat. The bat. I mean, the bat wing is just the bat. <laughs> and then, of course... And, oh, and then you got, you know, more diagrams, more cutaways. 
Then it goes into the Snyderverse. Oh, one of the really cool things, by the way, in the book is that in the names of the vehicle underneath, they indicate where their source is from, you know, what movie, comic book, etc. So it, um, it's nice to see that, you know, it's my, oh, oh, by the way, all this is written <laughs> as if, um, as if, say, um, Alfred or, Doc, or Amanda Waller were doing a dossier of information about the Batmobile. So it's written in that, from that perspective within that context. So it, it, it's, kind of, it's a fun read here, you know, reading the, you know, or if this were, say, in the, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, I can almost hear Jarvis kind of, kind of, you know, chatting away about this but the nice thing is that like i said you have this information here so if you're using this as resource material for other things you know where else to look for stuff um so yeah you got of course the snyderverse stuff such as the multiple versions of the batmobile um ah here we go like this version. remember what i said about diagram isn't that insane? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's not as spectacular as a cutaway from a DK publishing book, but still, it's cool. Um, you also got, of course, the Batwing. And I... Oh, oh, and also you got the Nightcrawler. I always liked this vehicle. The Flying Fox. Now, granted, you know, after Avengers come on, it's kind of, I, I hope there was a part of me, the snarky part of me going, oh, you couldn't build a helicarrier, but we got a flying fox. I mean, you know, but it looked cool having this giant transport and yada, 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 yada. I'm a dork. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and it goes on. Now, the nice thing is now, you know, you start off, of course, with Chris Nolan. What next? Got to pay a nod to Tim Burton. Now, the spectacular thing, and of course, you know, if you're going to do Tim Burton, you got to do the Batwing. <laughs> the spectacular Batwing. Now, like I said, you know, we're looking at everything. So, you've got multiple versions of the Batmobile from all the films, and even from Batman and Robin, the Batama. Because you have to have something called the Batama. Yeah, that was a horrible Arnold Schwarzenegger thing. I don't care. <laughs> um, and if you're going to do something about the Batmobile, you better pay homage to Batman the Animated Series. We miss you, Kevin. Bless you for everything. Now, you're thinking, good God, how much stuff is in here? Oh, and of course, if you're going to do... You're going to do... Animated series, you better do their Batwing, because that was pretty, that was epic. And now you're thinking, so how much stuff is in here? It is literally everything. Now, anybody can put in stuff about the Batmobile from the TV show. Even <laughs> the spectacular cutaway. But they've even got a little bit about the bat boat. Now the bad news is the bat copter is not in here. I, I think it only ended up in the film, so. Eh. But we ain't done yet, cause you got stuff for the video game. <laughs> so much stuff. Ridiculous. Um, and then from there, I mean literally. Every incarnation of the Batmobile from the comics. Like this spectacular one with the giant, like, the giant, you know, well, okay, not that giant, but you got the big bat face on the front. Um, just so much stuff. Yes, I'm looking down my nose. Um, and as you can see, the art is gorgeous. I mean, I imagine this is all, like, computer rendered, um, but it is, I mean... Even like the the sport the sports car version. And of course if you're gonna do the comics. You gotta do they they call I love this. 
the Armageddon Batmobile <laughs> is what they remained it from the Dark Knight Return. <laughs> Very good name. The ironic thing is that the last entry is for the Batmobile from the Batman, Matt Reeves film. It's back here. Just kind of, I, uh, um, so yeah, as you can see, it is a beautiful book. Um, okay, it doesn't, I mean, it's not as wacko overboard as this, okay? You're not going to see every control panel and stuff like that, but general information that's really detailed, that isn't just regurgitating what's already out in, you know, generic press releases, that's cool. The book, like I said, is quirky, and you notice you're catching on to one of the quirky things. The order of this book is kind of weird. <laughs> um, um, I, I kind of wish they made these giant chapters of film, you know, film, TV show, comic book, you know, animated series, um, or, you know, something along these lines. There is a sense of logic to this, since, you know, I was able to kind of off the fly just say, oh, yeah, you know, this is the movies and yada, 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 but it's kind of quirky. Um, the other real, and actually, th this is really kind of, um, really, to be frank, kind of irritating. As you notice, as I'm showing pictures, you're going, what's with the print? Uh, the print, it, now, here, like this, reading it on a table um, with lots of light, the black paper with the gold print and actually even in this shot it probably isn't too bad it's a, you know it's manageable if the lights dim you're going to be going what and as you know it's print kind of small um uh, i'm old okay so ugh. um so that uh that i mean the, and then actually i really don't want to belittle that fact it, it does make this a bit challenging to read <laughs> okay so keep that in mind um so what is the last call on this Honestly, this is a beautiful book. Um, it's very well done. Like I said, I mean, it's not this uber detail. No, it's not. But the amount of detail there is wonderful. Um, there's a lot of information in it. Like I said, the nice thing also is having that little bit extra under the names of the Batmobile. So you can use this as a very good resource material for doing research or whatever. Whether you're doing gaming campaign, you're writing fanfic or whatever. Um, the art is beautiful. So you get these gorgeous shots of the vehicles from multiple angles, seeing multiple parts of them. So the detail, like for model builders, I imagine you want to get this, okay? Um, this is like $29.99 from, from, uh, from Amazon. Um, now, unfortunately, I haven't checked the price lately, so I'm really not sure if the price has gone up. Some of the manuals, sometimes things happen. So, you know, kind of keep your eyes open. Um, but yeah, it is a beautiful resource. Tons, tons of stuff. The only other I do regret, and I understand why they couldn't do it, probably because of copyright, da da da, da and you got to keep the book short. Um, this is me just being an 80s dork. Um, when they were doing the Super Friends, the Justice League, they had a version of the Batcopter and this thing called the Bat Multicraft that were really cool looking. I wish. Look, if you're going to put the sports car Corvette looking Batmobile, just saying. But I understand why you couldn't. I'm just going to be a little pouty for a minute. So there. Okay, I'm done. Um, so yeah, it's if you're a Batman fan, if you like source books, this is this is a lot of fun to have. Um, so there you go. Um, hey, hope the rest of the weekend's going well for you. Um, may the force be with you. May the odds be in your favor. And as always, be good to each other, okay, peeps? Y'all take care. Peace. Bye.